Welcome for a solo playthrough of Cthulhu Death May Die. So I've already done a setup video for this. I'll be playing as Rasputin and Sister Beth. Poor Rasputin has a fear of crowds. So when his sanity level goes down to a certain point, he'll be taking one stress for every other figure in his space. And if he is alone, he will heal all of his stress instead. And for Sister Beth, she's got paranoia. So, oh, all monsters on the board move one space towards her. Then if there are no enemies in her space, we'll heal all of her stress. And we've chosen Cthulhu for our main bad monster. And we are going through season one, episode one, Blasphemous Alchemy. So real quick, when Cthulhu advances, we're gonna put a rally token in our space. There's already a token there. We'll put in the nearest space that doesn't have one. We'll summon a cultist at each of those spaces. Move the star spawn one space towards you. And if he's not on the board, summon him at the blue gate, which is over here. We've got cultists with two health, rolling two dice. Star spawn, seven health, three black dice. When attacking or being attacked while in a relay space, add two tentacles to the roll. Then we have a feral vampire with four health, rolling two black dice and a green. And when it attacks, first place a fire token in its space. And a biake with three health, two green dice and a black. When it attacks, each elder sign also counts as a success. And what we're trying to stop, we need to destroy four of the five labs, putting four wounds on them. So we've got labs here, here, back in the corner, and one in each of these rooms. And when the Elder One advances, we'll place one fire token in each space that has any cultists and no fire. Our two bonus actions are we can extinguish fire, make a roll, remove one fire token in your space for each success, or destroy equipment, make a roll against a lab in your space. This doesn't count as an attack. Each success deals one wound to the lab. The lab has four more wounds, destroy it, turn it over to reveal its effect. And of course, for us to win, we need to bring Cthulhu out by stopping or destroying all these labs. Then we have to defeat this version of him, then this version of him, and then if we can take this one on, we've won. The chances are we're not gonna make it that far, but we'll see what happens. As a reminder, turn sequence, we get to take three actions, then we'll draw a Mythos card, then investigate or fight, then resolve into turn, and then the next character will go. And here we go to either save the world or die trying. So we're starting with Rasputin. It's gonna take first action to move and next action to start a fight. Getting his three base dice and one bonus die for his brawling ability. So that's gonna get us plenty of successes, but more crazy than we wanna take starting out. So we will re-roll one of these. We're good with that. And we'll go ahead and now uh, we'll just take that. All right, so three successes, one crazy, one cultist down. This moves up. Second attack. That's going to do four damage, nothing negative. Actions are over. We'll draw a Mythos card. So getting a symbol, add a fire token to your space in each adjacent space. You're welcome, Sister Beth. Fire's all over. Then he can investigate or fight, so he'll investigate, finding a monkey pole. So painting glyphs on the floor, what is going on here? You have the monkey as a companion, take two wounds and discard the monkey. You may claim the monkey paw or discard it to heal all your health. So each elder sign may count as both a success and tentacles, cannot be traded. So that's useless for us, but we'll go ahead and take it. Now 
And resolving end of turn, nothing's going to happen. So on to Sister Bath. She'll just run forward, one, two, getting two fire tokens on her. She has the Brawl ability, so she'll swing at the Cultist. Doing maybe two damage. We're going to re-roll this one. To do two damage, get rid of the Cultist. Nothing negative. And moved attack. Now we're going to try to put out some fire. So we're rolling our three basic dice. Getting two successes. That doesn't trigger. Gets rid of the two fire. End our turn, getting a Mythos card. So fire vampire. Each fire vampire moves one space towards you, then place a fire token in their space. So this guy's going to move down one. Spit out some fire. Then we're going to summon one at the yellow gate. So we get a friend up here. Then we can investigate in our space. We're up to no good. The professor, he asked me to help. I'm not in trouble, am I? Student holds a beaker. If you have a guilty conscience, take a stress. We're not guilty yet. We may take two stress to claim either the grad student or the beaker. So the student's going to give us two green dice to extinguish a fire. The beaker may discard this card to deal wounds to all labs and figures either in your space or in adjacent space. We'll go ahead and take the student for two stress. And resolve into turn. We have two fire on us. So roll two normal dice. And we because of toughness, we have one free reroll. So it helped a tad bit. We'll take one damage and one sanity damage. Nothing else to resolve. Pass to his turn. Sputin's going to run for his first action. So one, two, three. He'll take one fire. He's going to swing at the cultist. Doing one, two, three, four damage. So he's down. We moved in attack, so now we're going to try destroying equipment. So three normal dice. Getting three successes. So three out of four damage on that. That will end our turn, so we'll draw a Mythos card. Sleeper Awakens. There are two or more rally spaces adjacent to each other, which there isn't. We don't have any on the board. Uh, so nothing's going to happen from this card. So then we can investigate. Finding a feral student. So she only makes vague simian noises. You may take two stress to claim the feral student. If you do not, claim the guilty conscience. So she's going to up our level in brawling. So we'll take two stress, gain brawling, so that's going to move us up to when you attack, you may target any number of figures in your space, split the wounds as you like. And then end of turn, we have one fire. We're going to take a stress to reroll that. And nothing happens. No other end of turn effects. So on to Sister Beth. She's going to rest. So one, two, and three. She's going to run in here to see this cultist. She'll take a fire token. Second action is going to be an attack. And we'll go ahead and take that. So two successes kills him since we're high strung. And we'll take a sanity damage. And for our third action, we're going to try to break equipment. Oops, except the green doesn't count. 
So one success, two, three successes. And we'll take a sanity damage. That will end our turn. So we'll get a Mythos card. So an Astral Promise. Move the nearest cultist to your space and choose one. So that's going to be this guy way up there. It's going to come down. You can either add a rally token to your space or lose two sanity. And I think we'll just lose two sanity because we're going to hit a break point. So we ignore the extra. That's going to trigger our paranoia. So all monsters on the board move on space towards you. So this guy moves over here, he moves down, and this one moves to that location. Then we can upgrade one of our abilities. So we're going to go for toughness. So normally we would have been able to have one free reroll when attacked or rolling for fire. Instead, we may reduce wounds taken and loss of sanity by one when attacked or rolling for fire. And right now, from what I'm reading online at this time, that will reduce both a damage and tentacle at the same time, not just one or the other. So that was our Mythos card. Now we're going to end up fighting since we have a cultist in our space. He gets two green dice. Now it's going to be two damage coming our way. We can block one. We'll go ahead and take it. In resolving end of turn effects, we have one fire to deal with. And because of our new toughness ability, we can ignore both those. Nothing else is triggering. On to Rasputin. He's going to go for a jog. Going one, two, three. Taking this guy with him. Catches one fire. Actually, no, he's not done in there. Never mind. He's going to have to take a swing at this thing. So three dice. Need to do one damage. Two damage. And going a little crazy. So we blow this up. So safe collapse. Heal all your stress. Well, that's good because I should have rested earlier anyway. So that was one action. And we'll go a little crazy from that. Now we'll take off running. So one, two, three. Bringing a friend. Catching on fire. Final action, we're gonna do some brawling. So our base dice. So one, two, three damage on that guy is enough to kill him. So he goes away. We'll draw a Mythos card. So students go mad. If you have any student companions, discard one student and summon one cultist in your space. Oh, that sucks. So discarding our companion. So we're gonna lose our extra level in brawling and spawn a cultist in its spot. So now we're gonna end up fighting. Cultist has two dice. We'll take the one damage. And then resolve end of turn. We've got one fire. Oh, that's on the side. One damage. We'll take it. Then nothing else triggers. So on to Sister Beth. She's going to punch the cultist in his face. So we're good with all those rolls. We'll try to re-roll this one to not go crazy. And that worked. So the cultist is down. We're going to rest. So one, two, and three. And final action, we're going to try to get rid this lab equipment. We need to do one damage. Doing several. 
We're going to try to re-roll some of these. So that's good. We'll see if we can get lucky again. Yep. So we blow up lab equipment. So a major explosion, deal two wounds to all enemies in this space and adjacent spaces. So this fire guy is going to take two damage. So that was my three actions. So I'll get a Mythos card. So the thing that should not be. Cthulhu is on the board. Each investigator loses a sanity. He's not on the board yet. So if he's on the track, each investigator takes two stress. For every stress you couldn't take, you take a wound. So Sister Beth is totally stressed. Rasputin, mid-stress. Then we can investigate. So fire equipment. This should come in handy. You claim the fire extinguisher or claim the fire axe. So the extinguisher will gain two green dice when we're trying to extinguish a fire. For the fire axe, when attacking, gain a green die if you have the brawling skill, which we have. And we already have something to help us with putting out fires, so we're going to take the fire axe. Resolve end of turn. Nothing's going to trigger, so on the Rasputin. He's got a cultist in his face. So he's going to swing on that guy. Doing three damage. So he'll go away. Then we're going to rest. So one, two, and three. And then try to destroy that equipment. Yes. So two damage and a sanity. I'm kind of okay with that. So on that lab equipment, we'll just pull that to the side there. Go a little crazy. Ending our turn, getting a Mythos card. So Fire Vampire, nearest Fire Vampire moves two spaces towards you and place one fire token in its space. So one and two, spit out a little fire. Then we're gonna summon, well, if there was another, both are on the board. So nothing else happens, but that is gonna be our third symbol there. Then we get to investigate. Finding a desk, shoved against the wall, what's in the drawer? You may claim the whiskey bottle. Discard this card to heal all your stress and discard all your guilty conscience cards. So we've got some whiskey. Then end of turn. So now we finally have three symbols in our discard pile. We'll shuffle these into our Mythos deck. Cthulhu will advance, and then bad things are going to happen. So we're going to put a rally token on our space. So this will go up here. And then we're going to summon a cultist on each of those spaces. So it's the first one on the board. Then we'll move the star spawn one space towards you. If he's not on the board, summon him at the blue gate. So he's gonna pop up here. And then for this card, when the Elder One advances, place one fire token in each space that has any cultist and no fire. And there is fire back there and that's the only cultist on the board. So that is done. So we will pass turn to Sister Beth. She's gonna take this fight upstairs. So one, two, and three. Bringing these guys with them. And Fire Vampire has two damage on him. Then for her second action, she's gonna swing. So we got her base three dice, one for brawling and one for the fire axe. So no re-rolls. 
That does do two damage with just enough to kill him off. Now she'll focus on the star spawn with her final attack. So one, two, three, four, and five with her special ability. So we'll just put that damage over here. But she is going to take two sanity from that. That was her third action. So Mythos card. Monsters in the labs. Each fire vampire and that monster move on space towards you. So he'll move this direction. Then in the yellow space, we're going to get a fire vampire. So brothers unite. And then the blue space gets a winged beast. Then we're going to start a fight. Or finish it. Star spawn's going to swing at us. Let's see, nothing else is triggering in there. All right, so that means nothing. With our toughness, we can ignore that. But we're going to take both a damage from that and a sanity. Then end of turn, nothing triggers. So on to Rasputin. He's going after the cultists in the space. Yep. So one, two, three, four damage. We'll go ahead and see if we can reroll this. That worked. Cultist is down. Now we're going to focus on finishing off the lab equipment. So it's already got two damage on it. And that's not what we wanted to see. So we're going to stress one of those. Stress over here. And we'll go ahead and accept that. So that's going to be two damage, which is enough to take care of this. So flipping that over, we've got Inferno. Place a fire token in this space and each adjacent space. All right, so two more fire tokens in play. This is going to move that. So then fear of crowds, take a stress for every other figure in your space. We're in there by ourselves. If you're alone, heal all of your stress instead. So we're very relaxed. So we've got three of the four labs down. We do get to upgrade one of our abilities. We're going to try to be a brawler. So we'll up that. So we're back up here. When you attack, you may target any number of figures in your space, split the wounds as we like. And now we're just roller dice, try to put out some fire. So three successes. We're good with that roll. We'll get rid of the two fire. Go a little crazy. End of turn, getting a Mythos card. So crawling chaos. Cultist moves one space towards you. They're all dead. If you're in a rally space, lose a sanity. We are, so we'll take a sanity damage there. And we'll summon cultist on the yellow and red spaces. So yellow is here, red is there. Then we can investigate. Getting a good boy. Who's a good boy? You may take too stress to claim the dog. If you do not claim the guilty conscience. So the dog, heal on stress at the end of your turns. All right. So we take two stress. Go to resolve the end of our turn. We heal a stress. And nothing else is going to trigger. So pass turn back to Sister Beth. She's got a fight waging on with the star spawn, so she'll start swinging. Her base three dice, one for brawling, 
One for a fire axe. He's got five damage on him. We just need two more. So three damage. He's gone, but he'll be back. Second action, move over here, get a fire token. Then swing at the cultist. All right, so one, two, three successes. Cultist down. So draw a Mythos card. Astral Promise. Move the nearest cultist to us. So he comes a running. Can either put one of those tokens out or take two sanity. We'll take the two sanity since we're only really taking one. That is going to trigger our paranoia. So all monsters on the board are going to move one space towards us. So these two guys are going to come up here. He'll step back in the hallway. We're going to upgrade an ability. So toughness going to level three. So instead of everything else, we may reduce wounds taken and loss of sanity by one from any source. So now not just being attacked or rolling for fire, anything. That's about as far as we want her to go. So now we've got a fight coming on with the cultist. Two green dice. We don't have any rerolls. We can ignore one damage. So we'll take that one. Resolve end of turn. We have one fire coming at us. We can ignore that. Nothing else is going to trigger. So Rasputin's turn. He's going to move one space and try putting out some fire. And he'll re-roll one of those. So more than enough to take care of the two fire tokens. Then he'll just rest. Then draw a Mythos card. Star spawn. All right, moving two spaces towards you. He's not on the board yet. So we'll summon him at the red location. That's not going to go well for Sister Beth. She just took care of him, and now he's back. All right, so Rasputin will investigate. Finding a furious student. You can't hurt me anymore. I have a gun. You may take one wound to claim either the furious student or the pistol. So the student cannot have both Chester and the professor, but he does give us three more health, which could come in handy, but he also has a pistol for doing some damage. And we're lacking in the damage department, so we're going to take a damage to get a pistol. And since most of this is not showing up on screen, I'll split these up some. And resolve end of turn. Nothing is triggering. So on to Sister Beth. She's got a whole lot of nastiness going on. All right, she's going to start triggering and working on the star spawn. So three base dice. One for brawling. One for a fire axe. And now that she's at the second level, she'll get an extra green die. So see what we can get here. Whole lot of blanks. All right, so it's going to be one, two, three, four successes. We can ignore... A wound in sanity from any source, so we won't take sanity from that. So for our second attack, again on the star spawn. So one, two, three, just what we need. So he's back off the board. And then we're going to go after the cultist.
three damage and he's gone. So that felt a little bit good. She'd really like to rest eventually. Instead, we'll get a Mythos card. So bad things are gonna happen again. Uh, each fire vampire moves one space towards you and places fire. Good grief, she can't catch a break. They're gonna spit two fire tokens in there. And since they're both on the board, another one's not gonna summon. All right, fight. When it attacks, it spits out fire. So both of those are gonna attack eventually. So two more fire tokens. They get two black and a green each. So vampire number one. One damage, which we'll ignore. Vampire number two. Two damage. We'll ignore one of those and take one. She's hurting. Then we resolve end of turn. Our discard pile, we've got three symbols. Shuffle these back into the Mythos deck. Thulu moves. We're gonna get a token up here. Then Cultist in that space and that space. And a fire will start back here. And that's it for her turn. Rasputin's gonna have to come and help. So one, two, and three. Bringing a friend, taking a fire. All right, first one he's gonna swing at is gonna be the guy he brought in there. So he gets his three dice and the one green. So here we go. Zero successes. We are going to re-roll the green one. That gets us one success. And we might as well keep using that because we're getting ready to bust. So we'll re-roll this one. We'll re-roll it again. Then we'll re-roll one of these. Doesn't help. So we've got two successes. Put two damage on this guy. Those are fresh, all right. We're gonna take one Sanity. Then, oops, I forgot, we have a pistol, so I've got another die in there. See if that would've helped. Nope. All right, so our next attack. Moved attack, all right. Here we go, no re-rolls. Three successes. So one more on him, and then we can also take out the cultist. Since we can split our attacks up, we'll draw a Mythos card. Monsters in the labs, each fire vampire moves towards us, say they're already there, we'll summon one, they're already out, then we'll get a winged one at the blue space. And it's fight time. Those guys get two black and a green. They're gonna spit out a whole lot more fire. First one's gonna attack. Getting two hits and an insanity, two damage. We're gonna go crazy. Cause we got a fear of crowds. Our stress is already full. So we can now level up. We're gonna go brawling again. You have two free rerolls when attacking a target in your space. Actually, we're getting ready to die. So we're gonna up our unkillable. So one additional free death. Now the second one's gonna swing. No, going with my original plan. Final answer. Before we roll, we're gonna drink our whiskey bottle to discard, or to heal all our stress and discard a guilty conscience. So now we've got some stress to re-roll with. Now we'll go with the second fire vampire. 
who has two successes. We're going to re-roll one of these, getting a blank, and we might as well re-roll the other one. All right, so we survived through that. So resolving end of turn, we have one fire damage on us. This would be a damage. We're going to stress about it. We're going to stress about it. All right, we'll take the original damage. All right, so Rex heals us a stress. We'll pass the turn. Sister Beth is going to have to get mean. So we've got those, plus a brawling, plus a fire axe, plus being crazy. Oops. That symbol is like that. We are going to do nothing about that. All right. So one, two, three, four, five damage. She cannot split her attacks, but that does kill one of these. She can ignore one tentacle, but the other one comes through. Then her second attack. Four damage, kills him off. Third action. One, two. Uh, three. All right, Mythos card. All right, each cultist currently on a rally space moves two spaces towards you. So one, two. Summon cultist on yellow and blue. Yellow and blue is really up here. Then she can investigate. Finding a professor. You see my students, they escaped. I mean, walked out during an experiment. If any investigator has the spirit, which we do not have, the professor bursts into flames. Otherwise, you may take two stress to claim the professor. We don't have enough stress to spin for that. That'd have been nice for Rasputin, but that will be discarded. And resolve end of turn. Nothing's triggering, so on to Rasputin. So rest, one, two, three, resting again. One, two, three. Third and final action. Trying to destroy some equipment. All right, one, two, three damage on that. I'll try to reroll this one. I'll try it again. So three success, nothing bad. This place has seven fire on it. All right, drawing a mythos card. So students go mad. If you have any student companions, ah, we don't, we just have an animal. Discard a student and cultists, but nothing will happen there. So then we can investigate, finding a janitor. So if you have guilty conscience, take a stress. We don't take two stress to claim the janitor. We don't have enough. Take one stress to claim ammonia. So with ammonia, I discard this and bleach to deal six wounds to all figures either in your space, including you, or an adjacent space. So we'll go ahead and do that. Take some ammonia and hope we can find some bleach. Trigger end of turn. We'll get a stress back. Nothing else triggers. Back to Sister Beth. Her turn. She's going to rest a little bit. Second action, see if she can do a damage to that. 
<laughs> doing one damage, just enough. So behind this one, major explosion, deal two wounds to all enemies in the space and adjacent spaces. So nothing happened there. That is our fourth one destroyed. So we're done with stage one. Stage two, when revealed, summon Cthulhu into your space. Each enemy in a rally space moves one space towards you. So we're gonna replace this figure with that token. Cthulhu comes in our space. Don't have any enemies in a rally space, so that doesn't happen. So he's got 12 health, and at the end of each turn, put a rally token in his space. There's already one there. We'll move it somewhere else. So we gotta start doing some heavy damage now. So she rested. Took care of the box. She's got one attack coming up, which she'll take. So three base, one brawl, one crazy, one fire axe. Whole lot of blanks. So she's gonna stress to re-roll one of these. And I think she'll just stop with two damage. And I'll just put that damage up here. Draw a Mythos card. So the thing that should not be, Cthulhu's on the board. Each investigator loses a sanity. She can block that, he cannot. So that's it for that. Then Cthulhu's gonna fight her. So two black, two green dice. Well, spin a stress to re-roll this one. Then spin a stress to re-roll this one. All right, so two damage, we can block one, she takes one. All right, resolve our end of turn. Nothing down here or over here. Okay, so put a token in that space. Then we'll move to Rasputin's turn. He would love to move and get out of there, but not with seven fire tokens. So he's just gonna swing and punch. So base three, plus brawling, plus a pistol. So he's up to six dice now too for swinging. All right, one, two, three. We do have two free re-rolls. We'll use one here. Then one over here. Now we'll keep that as a blank and re-roll this one. All right, so four damage. So he's gonna go up to six. We've got one sanity to take. Our second attack out of three. All right, so one, two, three, one free reroll. So that's four, we'll go with that. So 10 out of 12 damage and his last swing. Two damage, first re-roll, second re-roll. All right, so he's knocking him out. So stage two goes away. When revealed, move Cthulhu to the blue gate. So he's running away, that's not good for us. We got too much fire. Each investigator in a rally space takes one wound and loses a sanity. 
So Sister Beth can ignore both of those, where Sputin cannot. And at the end of the turn, bad things happen. All right, so that was the attack. He'll take a sanity, triggering this ability. So he'll take a stress for every other figure. Even though we're friendly, he'll take a stress for that. We're going to bump his brawling up to when you attack figures in your space, deal the full wounds to each target. Now we'll end his turn, draw a Mythos card. So getting our second symbol there. So if Star Spawn is on the board, bad things happen, but he's not, so we'll wait and summon him into a blue space. So his blue space is full of nastiness. Then we get to investigate. Finding an assisted janitor. Get away, but he's going to kill us. We have to hide. If you have a guilty conscience, take a stress. If you don't feel guilty, you may take two stress to gain the janitor, or one stress to get the bleach, which we need, but we don't have room for stress. So, so much for that. Then resolve end of turn. Nothing here. That's not going to trigger. Uh, this space already had one of those tokens, so we'd have thrown that one there. And then when this one comes out, it goes to a different place. Then each investigator loses a sanity. Sister's okay. Rasputin, not so much. Then Sister Beth's turn. She's going to rest. One, two, three. Then she's going to have to try to put out some fire. We're afraid to move. She does have the grad student. That will give her an extra two dice, so... See how many fire tokens we can get rid of here. Oh, geez. We'll re-roll one of the green dice. And we'll re-roll again. All right, we can get rid of one fire token. And ignore that. Then we're gonna rest again. One, two, three. Terrible turn. So a Mythos card. Rally Unleashed. Each investigator in rally space loses a sanity. She'll be fine. Rasputin going crazy. Investigator fight, she will investigate. Finding some lab books. It's filled with a strange scroll. Something about swapping the minds of humans and animals looks like nonsense. You may claim the lab notes. So gain two green dice to all rolls if you have at least one student or animal companion. And we have Charles the student. So that's gonna help us tremendously. And resolve end of turn. Nothing on us. Down here. Shuffle those. All right. Clue's gonna advance. So item one, put a rally token in her space. All right, next closest space is going to be over here. Summon a cultist at each rally space. So, one, two, three, four, five. There's five cultists on the board. Move star spawn one space towards you. So he'll move here. Then put a Raleigh token in Cthulhu space. So that'll be down here. Then each investigator loses a sanity. Sister's fine. It's going to trigger his fear of crowds. It's going to up his arcane. Mastery there. So sister's done. 
Yeah, Rasputin's not doing good. He's just going to have to go crazy here. Yep. All right. One, two, three. All right, he's going to move three spaces. So one, two, three. He's going to end up in this space, bringing a lot of monsters with him. So since the board is crazy, I'm just going to put that there with him and knowing that all these monsters are with him. So that was action one. Action two is attack. So he got his three dice. Make sure I got this right here. One for brawling. Two for being crazy as he is. And one more for his pistol. So seven dice. And he does get to deal the full wounds to each target. Zero re-rolls. Oh yeah, and fire tokens. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Just seven. I'll put seven wounds here. Just in case it matters. All right, here we go. So that is five damage to all monsters in his space. So all these cultists are down. A winged beast is down. Didn't clear this from before. So five on Cthulhu and five on the star spawn. And for his second attack, three damage. Not nearly as good. It's enough to kill the star spawn. Takes Cthulhu up to eight damage. What else is in here with us? So, Mythos card. Fire Vampire. Each one moves towards him. There's none on the board. One's going to summon in the yellow space. Investigator fight. Cthulhu's gonna fight him. He's got three green dice now. And two black. No re-rolls. All right. Two damage and one crazy. So one, two, one crazy. Now resolving end of turn. Seven dice for that. Only have six. So we're gonna take four damage from that, which is kill him for his first time, so he's unkillable. So if you would die from wounds, instead return to life with full health. And it really wouldn't have mattered about any additional All right, so he lived through that portion of the turn. Does heal one stress from the dog. Then Cthulhu's end of turn things. Put a rally token in his space. But there's already one there, so we'll move that down. Then each investigator loses a sanity. She's fine. He's not. All right, he might have one more round in him. Maybe. So sister's turn. She doesn't have a free life, so she's going to try to put out a fire. Three dice, plus one green for that, two for her grad student, and then two for lab notes with the lab student. One, two, three, four, five. We can ignore that sanity. Second action, she's going to take off running. So one, two, three. Moving into the space with Cthulhu. Bring in the dragon boy with her. She'll take two fire tokens for that. 
And now she gets to attack with her base. Three dice there. One for brawling, one for crazy, and two for lab notes. And one for the fire axe. Let me make sure I counted that right. So one, two, three, four, five green. Yep. Now well, she's going for a Cthulhu because she has to. Not only enough, just three damage, but it only took two. So Cthulhu is down. She ignored that. So stage three is done. Final stage, when revealed, move Cthulhu to the starting space. Each investigator must discard all item and companion cards. They may take one wound for each card they wish to keep. That's not nice. Well, for Rasputin, doesn't care about Monkey Paul and the janitor. Dog's not gonna help him much longer. And I'm assuming they all have to go away first and I can't save the pistol to put a damage on the dog. It's the way I'm playing, but I am gonna keep the pistol. He'll take one damage for that. And I hope this won't be a mistake. I'm gonna keep everything. You see how that's worded again. Yeah, well, like I said, once again, I'm assuming this all happens at once, so I can't abuse that. I'm gonna keep all three. I'll prevent one damage and take two. So my actions are done. I'm gonna get a Mythos card. So the Sleeper Awakens, there are two. More rally spaces adjacent to each other. Yeah, they're adjacent all over the board. So we're going to trigger this at the end of the turn. Can investigate or fight. So fire vampire is going to spit some fire in the room. And attack with two black and a green. We'll re-roll this one, getting a blank, so we can ignore both those. So resolving end of turn. All right, first two fire coming up. We'll re-roll one of those. We'll re-roll it again. All right, fine. We'll take one damage. So that's done. Now he's going to advance. All right, move in that space. All right, when he advances, put a rally token in her space. Already one there, so we'll throw it back in the hallway. Summon a cultist at each of those spaces. So one, two, three, and four. We'll throw another one up there, and one here, and one there. Then in every space where there's a cultist and no fire, we're going to make some fire. So there we go. There we go. And there we go. So there's that portion. Now all his end of turn effects are going to happen. Put a rally token on his space. Each investigator loses a sanity. She's fine. He's not. So his ability is going to trigger fear of crowds. He's going to get stressed. He's going to upgrade an ability. So we'll go for Arcane Mastery. And his final stage is if you need to place a rally token on the board, but cannot, each investigator loses two sanity. So 
So we do have all those on the board now, but we don't need to place anymore. So we just need to do 12 damage to him. Her turn is now done. So Rasputin is going to lead the charge to death. It's going to move one, two, three spaces, bringing this guy with him. He's super brawling. So three base dice, one for brawling, one for the pistol, and then one, two, three for being crazy. All right, here we go. So one, two, three, four, five. So we're gonna apply five damage to him. It's a good start. We healed one stress. We heal one stress for each Elder sign we use, so we're going to heal two stress, but we still have to resolve this, triggering our ability, fear of crowds, take a stress for each figure, one, two, we'll take our arcane mastery up to last level, so you may count any number of elder signs as two successes each. And now for his last roll to hopefully save the world. So we get all these dice, plus one more, since we are crazy as can be. All right. One, two, three, four. So four regular damage. Then each one of our elder signs can count as two. So one, two, three, four, five. So 10, 14 damage. Cthulhu. Goes down, and I'm just going to assume I missed some stuff throughout the game, but if not, I feel pretty good. Anyway, that's the basics of how to play Cthulhu Death May Die. Hope you enjoyed this playthrough. So please click on the like button below and be sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching.